Now, for our EC2 instances, when you launch an instance, over here in the advanced details, there's this user data section. Basically, when you want to run some scripts on the instance startup, you can run the scripts over here. And there's a checkbox called input is already base 64 encoded. So basically when you pass in the user data over here, it should be base 64 encoded. In this case, it automatically substitutes and makes it base 64 encoded. But in this section, we are going to see how to pass in user data to our cloud formation script and ultimately to our instance when the instance bootstraps it runs the user data scripts so how to do that in our cloud formation template so let's go back to our cloud formation we'll design a template and we'll continue with our template from the previous sections so we have this output section that we had seen in the previous section now in our EC2 instance, let's see how to pass in the user data inputs. First of all, let's create another security group for our EC2 instance. So this will open port 80, so we'll install the HTTP server and serve some web pages. So we are enabling port 80 on the server and we are going to add user data as one of the properties to our EC2 instance. So we have this new property user data which is a predefined property and then we are going to use this function base64 and we are going to pass this input to the function because we want it to be base64 encoded and over here we have this substitute function it's a newish function introduced in around 2016 where it will substitute this AWS region with the actual region once the region is available for the template. So that's what the substitute does. And then we have our uh, user data script over here where we are installing HTTPD and then starting the server and then printing this HTML to this index uh, file. And this pipe makes sure that you don't require like slash n after every line you type. So that's what the user data is about, the base64 function is about, the substitute in intrinsic function is about, and the pipe delimiter is about. So now we have this let's, first of all I'm gonna refresh, and it shows us that we have not linked our EC2 with the security group. So we'll go to our, we're gonna copy the security group name and link it over here. So now when we refresh it, we can see that the instance is linked to both the security groups. I'm gonna validate my template and it says template is valid. Now let's create a stack out of it. The key name, we're going to select our key pair. We don't really have to because we are not going to SSH into the instance. But in case if you want to, you need to select the key pair and then click on create over here. So now, the user data cloud formation stack is under creation. So now the creation is completed. We are going to click on the stack name and in the output, we have this URL. And now we have port 80 enabled. 
we have a web server running on it and it's uh, creating an index page so let's see what happens so as you can see it has printed our us east one data and it has ran our user data script so if you go back to our script This is what we are printing. So this is how you can use the user data section inside CloudFormation.